Guess who's got some new glasses? It's me, my new Lisa Loeb blue blockers. Thank to Miss, thanks to Miss Buffington. So hey, yeah, things are happening. When you turn forty plus, uh, things things change. Y'all know how this works. You might not, you might not know how this works, but it's coming for you. So I'm in magic school. I've been playing around, working on a demo for a group of CTAE teachers here in Georgia, and I I knew that they had launched some student access. But I didn't know how complicated it was. I haven't had time to play with it. But let me tell you, it's not complicated. And I'm going to show you how it works. And I'm using the free version. Free. And on the left, I'm in the account. I'm going to launch to students. Let's click it. And here, you get to make a room. And it, the login procedures is very similar to a Kahoot, where we just need a code or a link. And there is no passing of student sign on, sign in. Um, so that's going to make some people happy. Um, so I'm going to launch a new room right here on the right. And you got multiple rooms. I have no idea how many you can you can have for free, but I do think it's limited, but I can always delete these. So I'm going to launch a new room. And, and if you like my glasses, be sure in the comment section to tell me how fabulous my glasses are. So let's name this thing. We're going to call it the best class ever with Mr. B. And it's eighth grade and I've got about, I don't know, maybe I do it per class, you know, just like I can, I kind of manage it better. Maybe they have 30 people max and my class is not 2000 people, 30 people. Let's hit next. Here's the coolest part. I get to actually just pick the tools that I want them to have access to because it's kind of like going to the buffet, you get overwhelmed and we don't want students being overwhelmed, especially as we're beginning this process. So let's pick one tool. And so down here, college and career counselor. We're learning about careers in eighth grade today. So let's do that one. And it's up here, just one tool, but there's a ton of them. Okay. And they're very student specific. So I'm going to, I got the one tool. Let's hit next. I could add more if I wanted, but I'm not. That's the one and I could customize it. So I click on it and I'm like, mm, uh, what preview, what students will see. I could kind of change some different things, but I'm not changing anything. I want to keep it the way it is. So I'm going to hit next. I'll cancel that. Let's launch the room. That was it. Yeah. What you think about that? And here's the magical part. Ha! I just get a URL. I can get a join code. We can put it in Google Classroom. I'm just going to get the URL. Copy that. Now, I need to open up another window and pretend to be a student. So let's do that. Boom. And to do this test, I open up an incognito window because it does not require a login. And just like that, they just need to know my name, Ryan Buffington. There we go. Join room. It's like Jim Carrey in that one movie. And it says, all the students are going to read this. They're going to read how to use Magic School responsibly. You know this to be true, right? And I'm going to acknowledge because I am a student right now. And that is the one tool they get because that's all you gave them. Because we all have to start somewhere on our AI journey. So on the, I'm actually going to show you the teacher view and the student view together and just blow your mind. So on the, I'm going to just kind of do a little magic, a little razzle dazzle. Boom. Let's do a little razzle dazzle. There we go. And I'm probably going to move my head a little bit down here. Get rid of that. And oh my goodness, dear sweet Sheila, Brian Buffington's already in my class. I know that because I'm in the teacher view on the right, student view on the left. Now on the left, let's be the student and do something. I'm going to click this. And here I get to ask a question about being a counselor. Or I get to ask a question about careers. Now I'm going to, I'm going to try to be a little bit naughty, but like PG naughty because I love you all. Now on the left, I'm going to say, let's say, um, I want to learn, I want to be a bank robber because y'all understand we can make this much, much worse. I want to be a bank robber. How can I learn those skills? Because I, I want you to know there there are because um, that's the that's what, the, what we want in these student AI scenarios and these products is we want some some fence like we don't want people getting out and the and the wolves getting them so we we want some of that so let's see what happens I apologize but I just can't provide that kind of information that would be unethical and. I'm happy to discuss legal and ethical ways you can achieve your goals. I really appreciate that bot. Now on the right, it was not flagged, 
because I'm guessing the flag, the bank robber thing's probably not on the level of flagging. I'm just guessing. This is like, this is like, this is bank robbing's okay to talk about. But I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to test all the flags today. Now, that would be maybe another test. That's an upsell, probably, right? I'm just playing. So over here, the teacher can actually view the input on the right. Watch this. I get to see what those students said. I click on it. I get to see the response. I'm going to X out of that. And I can actually open up a moderation panel. If I had some kind of issues, there is no moderation needed right now. Um, and it says it's not going to catch it right now. It's some kind of, it's in some kind of beta. They're not going to catch everything. But what I really like about this is it's, it's a start. And I would not bank, I get it, bank, because we're talking about robbing banks, on this being free forever. Um, you know, I, I wish it was. We just, because just recently we had Microsoft, they bought Flipgrid, they called it Flip, and now they're like, no, you don't have that no more, you know, unless you have Microsoft Teams. And a lot of the schools I work with, they don't have that. So a lot of things that we really enjoy for free, we can't always consider having them forever. We don't, we don't know. We don't know, but I think it's a great place to start. There's not really a lot of buy-in here. You could test it with students. Maybe you get benefit for a year. It's not going to require a ton of training. I think it's just a great place to start. So let me know if you started, you tried it with students. Let me know how it went. Maybe we can learn from each other in the comments. And thanks for letting me bring some buff nuggets to you today in my Lisa Loeb blue blockers. Catch you later. Bye-bye.